Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Today I am going to talk to you on the topic tough times for the contrarian. Usually in every market context, you will see one set of businesses which everybody is chasing and another set of businesses which everybody is happy to ignore. From within these ignored businesses, businesses nobody wants to own or study or track, the best investment opportunities of the next bull market can be spotted. So if you take 2018 bull market in small caps, capital goods was that space. Today, capital goods is the hottest part of the stock market. In this market, where we see the bullishness almost across the board, it is a little difficult to spot contrarian opportunities. I see a lot of people rushing to claim contrarian position in spaces like speciality chemicals, APIs, all areas where there was extreme bullishness just two years ago and we are seeing that bullishness recede. There is a clear hurry in the minds of the contrarian to somehow take those positions now. You want to take a stance and there is a anxiety and hurry to take that contrarian stance. I see this as a reflection of the lack of opportunities even to be a contrarian. These opportunities are lacking especially in the equity space. If you want to be a contrarian in debt or gold, there are number of opportunities. But within the equity market, this is the first bull run where I see the lowest level of opportunities where one can be a contrarian with high conviction with valuation in your favor. The problem really is that the headwinds in such businesses are yet to see their worst and combined with that you have the headache of the valuations also yet to see their worst. So you are anchored to those high valuations and turning a contrarian very early. This is my sense. I think the first thing a contrarian investor should learn, should practice, should always remember is you can't be anxious. You can't be in a hurry. You should be willing to wait and during that wait you must be watchful. I think managing anxiety is the biggest problem today for contrarian investors. And they are seeing others throw anxiety to the wind and succeed more easily. Many people would have bought some storied stock and made double or triple in 2 months or 3 months. All this is disturbing the contrarian investors. Kya hai market mein? Should we actually wait? Isn't it better to keep participating and then take it from there? Clearly, these are all conversations where I can see that the contrarian investor is losing his marbles and patience both at the same time. That is not what you bring into play. So, at the point where waiting is most difficult, you have to realize that waiting is the only thing you must now do if you do not get the right idea at the right valuation. I think this is what contrarian investors must clearly understand right now. If you are good at spotting something really attractive with the downside very limited and the upside not factored in, go ahead. But do not look at ordinary ideas and start imagining that there is no downside and that you have extraordinary upside because I see that a lot amongst the ideas that are being thrown around. Also, if you feel that it is very difficult to spot ideas in equity, look at the other asset classes where you can take a contrarian position. I know a lot of people are very egoistic about this, but swallow your pride and try looking at debt or gold where you can park your money until you find equity at valuations which merit strong contrarian investing. That is 
essentially what I feel about being a contrarian in this market context. Thank you for watching this video.